Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of wellness, specifically exploring the secrets hidden in the foods we consume. In this video, we unravel a comprehensive guide detailing 12 cancer-fighting foods. So, grab your notebooks, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on this journey to a healthier you. Starts us off with the vibrant world of berries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Learn how these antioxidant-rich fruits can significantly lower your cancer risk. Long proven to protect against many types of cancer, they are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. The higher antioxidant and fiber content in berries actually reduces your risk of cancer. Include plenty of blueberries, raspberries, or raspberries in your diet. Of course, if you can eat them fresh, that's best, but they're also delicious frozen, which is a treat. Infection or inflammation is a reaction mechanism when the body is invaded by foreign agents. There have been reports showing that the antioxidants in berries can reduce symptoms of inflammation or infection. Black raspberries and strawberries are effective in lowering cholesterol in patients with obesity or metabolic syndrome. In addition, berries also help prevent oxidized LDL cholesterol, a major cause of heart disease. It's very simple and has a big impact if you are at high risk for cancer. If you want to prevent cancer from recurring, then start eating more berries immediately. McNearney into the world of citrus fruits. Discover how oranges and lemon water, packed with vitamin C, can replenish antioxidant levels, fortify your immune system, and become your allies in the battle against cancer. We know that your body has been suffering from oxidative stress for a very long time before you know you have cancer that your body is fighting against cancer cells. It then has to undergo months of radiation surgery, months, maybe even years of treatment. And all this means is that when you finish your treatment, your antioxidant levels are really low. You are more likely to get a common cold or flu, but you are also more likely to have a recurrence of cancer. Keeping antioxidant levels high will help reduce the risk of cancer and citrus fruits are full of antioxidants. Antioxidants like vitamin C can help boost your antioxidants and support your immune system. Citrus fruits help me stay healthier in the long run. These fruits contain plant compounds such as flavonoids that have the ability to protect the body from cancer. In addition, this compound also helps stabilize cells and limit the mutant growth of cells in the body. Experts say that regular use of grapefruit and other citrus fruits can reduce the risk of lung cancer. Antioxidants have also been shown to be particularly helpful in cancers such as stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, and colorectal cancer. Garlic isn't just a kitchen essential, it's a cancer-fighting hero. Uncover the compounds in garlic, known as organosulfurs, and how they contribute to decreasing the risk of certain cancers. This is why you often see garlic used as a supplement for cancer survivors. The effectiveness of garlic as a supplement for cancer survivors remains unclear, but we know that organosulfur compounds are present in your nutrition and can reduce the risk of cancer. Many studies have shown that garlic plays an important role in inhibiting the process of nitrate being converted into nitrite. At the same time, prevent the formation of nitrosamines carcinogenic compounds. In addition, the compounds s alistine, a gene, dialyl disulfide in garlic will slow down the growth rate of cancer tumors, especially controlling the development of breast cancer, nasopharyngeal cancer, stomach cancer, liver cancer. Plus, learn creative ways to incorporate more garlic into your meals. Time to savor the taste of tomatoes. The significance of lycopene, an antioxidant found in tomatoes, and how it can be a game changer in your fight against cancer. Get ready for a delicious journey into tomato based cancer fighting recipes. Tomatoes contain a lot of vitamin C and antioxidants, inhibiting the formation of cancer causing free radicals. Absorbing beta carotene will prevent tumor growth in the prostate, reducing the risk of colon cancer and colorectal cancer. The fiber, potassium, vitamin C, and choline content in tomatoes is very good for the heart. Tomatoes also contain folate which helps balance levels of homocysteine, an amino acid that increases the risk of heart attack and stroke created during the breakdown of protein. High levels of potassium also prevent muscle loss, maintain bone mineral density, and avoid kidney stones. 
People with type 1 diabetes who consume a high-fiber diet have lower blood sugar levels. One cup of cherry tomatoes provides about 2 grams of fiber. The American Diabetes Association recommends that women consume about 25 grams of fiber per day and men about 38 grams per day. To avoid inflammation, you should drink a glass of tomato juice every day. This drink effectively helps treat inflammation such as arthritis and joint pain. This is one of the top benefits of eating tomatoes. Kale, broccoli, cauliflower meet the cruciferous superheroes. Explore the compounds called glycosinolates and the high fiber content that make these veggies potent cancer-fighting agents. Discover easy ways to include them in your daily nutrition. Cruciferous vegetables are things like kale, broccoli, cauliflower, or even Brussels sprouts. These are all great options to add to your nutrition regimen. Cruciferous vegetables contain compounds called glycosinolates. They are known to reduce the risk of cancer, but these vegetables are also rich in fiber which has been shown to reduce the risk of cancer. During the process of processing, chewing, and digesting food, Glucosinolate in cruciferous vegetables is broken down to form bioactive compounds such as indoles, nitriles, thiocyanates, and isothiocyanates. Of these, indole-3-carbonyl and indole and sulforaphane and isothiocyanate are most tested for their anti-cancer effects. Indoles and isothiocyanates were found to inhibit cancer growth in several organs in mice including bladder, breast, intestine, liver, lung, and stomach. Specifically, one study found that indole-3-carbonyl was more effective than placebo in reducing the growth of abnormal cells on the surface of the cervix. Eating too much fat will significantly increase your risk of heart disease. Instead, people need to reduce fat and eat more vegetables, including cruciferous vegetables. The fiber content in vegetables will help reduce cholesterol levels in the blood and reduce high blood pressure. These are factors that contribute to heart disease. Importance of a plant-forward diet with a focus on leafy green vegetables like spinach and kale. Packed with antioxidants, fiber, and vitamin C, these greens are your armor against cancer cells. Now a plant-based diet may still include animal products like chicken, turkey, dairy, or seafood, but the majority of the food you eat should come from plants. There are several cancer prevention guidelines that make the same recommendation. The American Cancer Institute recommends a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, beans, legumes, and whole grains that the American Cancer Society makes almost identical recommendations, so if you really want to take just one simple step to reduce your cancer risk, then you must eat more vegetables. A great way to start is to add more vegetables to all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Once you get used to eating more vegetables, you can start aiming for half a plate of vegetables at each meal. Now, this suggestion of half a plate of vegetables may seem like a lot of vegetables because it is actually a large portion of vegetables to eat. But if you are truly dedicated to doing everything in your power to reduce your risk of cancer, then half a plate of vegetables is the wave to go. Dive into the world of green tea and its anti-cancer properties. Learn how it can reduce the risk of specific cancers and aid in overcoming chemo brain. Make green tea a delightful part of your daily routine for a healthier mind and body. If you are struggling with brain fog or mental clarity after cancer, this is truly a great choice for you. Many women find that they cannot multitask during conversations or that they cannot recall events as quickly as they could before cancer. This is often the result of a phenomenon commonly known as chemo brain. Polyphenols in green tea include many compounds such as egg, ECG, egg C, and EC. These chemicals, especially ECG and egg, have the ability to prevent harmful free radicals and protect cells from DNA damage caused by reactive oxygen species. Furthermore, polyphenols found in tea have also been shown to inhibit tumor cell proliferation against damage caused by ultraviolet UVB radiation. At the same time, it regulates the functions of the immune system in the body. Many studies also show that catechins in tea have the effect of preventing angiogenesis and invasion of cancer cells. Besides, green tea also has the effect of activating detoxifying enzymes, thereby protecting and fighting the development of cancer-causing tumors. Nuts and seeds offer a bite-sized explosion of nutrition. 
The benefits and cautions about including these foods in your diet, especially considering post-cancer treatment concerns like weight gain. These are things like almonds, walnuts, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, or chia seeds. These foods provide you with healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants. They provide a lot of nutrition in just a small bite. Nuts contain many vitamins and minerals, antioxidants such as vitamins E, K, B6, and minerals copper, phosphorus, zinc, magnesium, iron, and selenium to help maintain good body functions. You should have no food that contains all the nutrients needed for a daily meal. Nuts only provide part of the nutrition, including specific fats such as cashews and sunflower seeds. On the other hand, nuts will cause weight gain if eaten too much because it can upset the balance of nutrients. To eat to prevent cancer, you need to eat all nutrient groups. A person should eat 15 minus 20 food groups every day. You should choose fresh and diverse foods and eat them in moderation. Scientifically, all the foods you eat are superfoods. So, eating superfood seeds or eating anything requires calculating the right amount of calories. Discover the role of fatty fish in the Mediterranean diet and how omega-3s and healthy fats contribute to lowering cancer risk. The Mediterranean diet is always considered a winner. This is a diet that has been shown to be effective in reducing the risk of cancer recurrence. And fatty fish is an important part of the Mediterranean diet. You can start by aiming to eat fish once a week and then increase to twice a week. The Mediterranean diet is an eating plan based primarily on plant-based food sources, including whole grains, olive oil, fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts, herbs, and other spices. Other foods such as animal protein are eaten in smaller quantities, with animal protein mainly being fish and seafood. Many nutritionists consider this diet one of the healthiest ways to eat. Because the foundation of the Mediterranean diet is rich in anti-inflammatory foods and built on plant-based ingredients and healthy fats, this healthy eating pattern helps prevent cardiovascular diseases and increases longevity. Each person can decide exactly how much food to eat at each meal, depending on physical activity and body needs. Basically should. Focus on foods containing healthy fats. Olive oil is recommended as the main additional fat, replacing other oils and fats. Other natural foods contain healthy fats such as avocados, nuts, and oily fish such as salmon, sardines, herring. Choose fish as your main source of animal protein and eat it at least twice a week. Other animal protein sources such as poultry, eggs, milk, cheese, yogurt choose smaller portions daily or several times a week. Red meat should be limited to a few times per month. Choose purified water as your main daily drink and allow moderate amounts of alcohol such as red wine. About one to two drinks per day for men and one drink per day for women. Beans and legumes take center stage as highlights their consistent track record in lowering cancer risk. Explore the variety of options, including black beans, lentils, and chickpeas, and learn creative ways to include them in your meals. Beans are rich in fiber. Although it does not bring high nutritional value, many studies show that fiber has the ability to effectively prevent cancer. This ability of fiber comes from its ability to absorb toxins in the digestive system while accelerating the metabolism of cholesterol and lipids. These are factors that increase the risk of colon cancer. Soluble fiber in beans is also food for the growth of beneficial bacteria in the intestinal microflora. And when there is a healthy microflora, the risk of cancer, especially gastrointestinal cancer, will be significantly reduced. Besides being rich in fiber, beans are also a source of significant amounts of plant protein. In a cup of tofu, a cup of black beans can provide you with the same amount of protein as chicken or beef. This plant protein source brings more health benefits, especially reducing the risk of cancer. At the same time, eating beans also helps the body absorb some important nutrients such as calcium, iron, folate, magnesium, polyphenols, and antioxidants. Uncover the benefits of whole grains, the powerhouse of fiber, antioxidants, and vitamins. Importance of these grains in a cancer prevention diet and shares simple ways to incorporate them into your daily meals.
Doctors recommend that cancer patients use whole grains because this food is made up of three parts, including the bran, germ, and endosperm. In terms of nutrition, whole grains are highly appreciated because they contain many antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, and fiber. Fiber in whole grains will protect the digestive system and promote a better immune system for cancer patients. Side effects of oral medications and chemotherapy and radiotherapy will be reduced if patients provide cereals in their daily diet. Cereal nutrients also reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes for patients. Patients will be able to maintain body weight, eliminating rapid weight loss, a common symptom of extremely good cancer patients. Cancer patients can use more whole grains to improve their health. However, doctors often recommend that patients prioritize three types of cereals such as oats, brown rice, and buckwheat. Delves into the controversy surrounding turmeric, its active ingredient curcumin, and its potential anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Get the scoop on when it's beneficial and when caution is advised, especially for breast cancer survivors. It is known to reduce several different types of cancer, but there is controversy among breast cancer survivors. Do not use turmeric if you are also taking tamoxifen. Currently, tamoxifen is a known professional drug, which means when you take a tamoxifen pill, it needs to enter the body and go through a process to become the active form. It is converted into the active form of tamoxifen by an enzyme. Unfortunately, curcumin interacts with this enzyme which means tamoxifen cannot convert to its active form if curcumin prevents tamoxifen from converting. Then you won't get any benefit from tamoxifen and it won't reduce your risk of cancer. Scientists have researched that curcumin is a useful medicinal herb in cancer treatment. It can affect the growth, development, and spread at the molecular level of cancer. Studies have demonstrated that it can reduce angiogenesis, the spread of cancer, as well as contribute to the destruction of cancer cells. Many studies have demonstrated that curcumin can reduce cancer cell growth in the laboratory and inhibit tumor growth in test animals. There is some evidence that it may help prevent cancer in its early stages primary cancer, especially cancers of the digestive system such as colorectal cancer. In a study of 44 men with colon lesions that can sometimes turn into cancer, 4 grams of curcumin per day for 30 days reduced the number of these lesions by 40%. As we wrap up this enlightening journey into the world of cancer-fighting foods, remember that the key lies in a holistic approach. Importance of combining these foods, maintaining a plant-forward diet, and incorporating regular exercise for overall well-being. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here's to a healthier, cancer-free you. Before we part ways, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on this exploration. Your comments, likes, and shares mean the world to me. And now, as we bid farewell to this chapter, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What did you find most intriguing? What topics would you like me to cover in future videos? Let's keep the conversation going.